Now we move to start question number 19. Chief Minister, please. Reply to start question 19. So the state government has released one-fourth of the remaining 30% areas, i.e. 7.5% of the overall areas on the 11th of February 2021. During the current financial year, there has been a huge shortfall in the monthly entitlements due to the state from the central government. This is on account of the reduction in the collection owing to COVID-19 pandemic. The state government the state government is making all efforts to prudently manage the finances despite the challenging times. Accordingly, release of the 22.5% remaining areas during the current financial year will be con considered subject to the availability of funds. Yes, Mr. Speaker, sir. Speaker, <clears throat> sir, so, I know from the Honorable uh, Minister, because uh, he have already been said that one fourth of remaining 30% uh, areas have only been released. May I know from him whether that employee have been accepted or not? Sir, of course, uh, it is the endeavor of the government to clear the amounts that are due to them. And employees uh, definitely deserve this. This is an amount that was uh, supposed to be cleared in three installments. Uh, but as I have mentioned earlier, uh, we are, in fact, discussions took place with them. Chief Secretary also have met them, the employees, and uh, they are aware of the conditions and the situation we face. But as I said, sir, it is the endeavor of the government, and we will do our best to ensure that uh, the remaining part of the amount that is pending is cleared at the earliest, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, it seemed that uh, Honorable uh, Chief Minister, he didn't get my uh, question. My question, Mr. Minister, has already been said that uh, one fourth of the remaining 30% has already been released. <coughs> My question, because according to the information that we received, government employees have not been accepted this one fourth. That's why I asked him whether the government employee have been accepted or not this one fourth of the uh, of the remaining areas. So the one fourth amount has been released. And as I said, that uh, obviously there are concerns from the employees and associations requesting that the rest of the amount be cleared. So therefore, uh, therefore, uh, therefore, the uh, endeavor of the government will be to try and work out towards releasing it at the earliest. So therefore, the question, of course, as I said, uh, has been answered very, very categorically that uh, one fourth has been released, amounting to 38 crores, which has been released along with the salaries of the employees. And uh, the rest of the amount has been worked towards, and we will do our best to clear the rest of the amount. So, since the Honorable Chief Minister is taking me to the question, have already been uh, replied. So, may I know from Honorable uh, Chief Minister that total amount of one fourth, because one fourth is already been released. If you take the total amount, how much? It, how much it involved? So, one fourth is thirty-eight crores. One fourth of the thirty percent areas is one is thirty-eight crores. Sir, <clears throat> may I know from Honourable uh, Chief Minister, during your reply, if only mentioned that uh, because of the current financial year, there has been a huge shortfall in the monthly entitlement due to the state from the central government. May I know from Honourable uh, Chief Minister, how much the, short the shortage? So the central devolution of taxes was uh, budgeted at 6,490 crores. But the actual that are that we have received is 4698 which means a shortfall of 1792 in the state's own taxes there was a budgetary estimate of 2377 but the actuals were at 1859 so a shortfall of 518 crores <coughs> and again state's own non tax revenue was supposed to be at 690 in the budget estimates but the actuals were 481 therefore the I um, mean, the difference of 209. So I have to add these three, sir, but roughly um, 2,500 crores was a shortfall in terms of the revenues. Sir, so may I know from Honorable Law, Chief Minister, whether the paying of uh, the area pending of the government employees, whether they are getting, whether they are making from the plan or from the, from the state plan, sir? 
So these uh, money are committed expenditures. So therefore, uh, this money, and as I think the honorable member will know, sir, the concept of plan, non-plan is not there anymore. So therefore, uh, the, the amount is, uh, is a committed liability, and it comes, and it's in the top priority. And if you look at the entire last uh, 10 months that, uh, of this financial year, you have seen that uh, we have ensured that the salaries, the pensions, and the grants have been uh, released on time and uh, as I said even the interest payments. So these are very very top priority payments and government does whatever it has to do to ensure that these payments are made on time. Uh, so therefore uh, now whatever uh, payments that have to be made in terms of the areas also have come in from the revenue that we have collected and uh, we hope that uh, in uh, the coming months that if the revenue does stabilize and we see some growth in that which we do expect to see uh, we will do our best to clear the rest of the amount. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, sir, that is the last question. I think you're done with five percent. Uh, so, yeah. so, so whatever the case, maybe we have to thanks to honourable Chief Minister, the government, that the government employees are getting salary till today. Till today. So, may I uh, get them in the uh, the assurance from the honourable Chief Minister? Because I've already said that uh, that this current this uh, current financial year that uh, 2020 and 2021, he will try his best man to clear the remaining areas of, of the pending. So for regarding with this matter, what I thought that if the government have for a will, because it need the political will, so long that the government seven have, uh, have been uh, stand together with, with the government, may I get insurance that in this current financial year, the remaining amount will be cleared by the government, sir. Sir, has mentioned that um uh, we will be definitely considering it. It's all subject to the availability of funds, sir. So it will not be possible for me to give an assurance on the house floor of the house, especially when it is such an important issue. And definitely, sir, the employees are the backbone for our system. So if the employees are not motivated, the employees are not happy, and the employees are not given their share, obviously it affects the work. So we are very, very much aware of that. And it will be our endeavor, as I said, to clear it at the earliest, sir. So therefore, uh, I can simply tell the honorable member that this is also a top priority for us, and the employees also, that this is a top priority for us, and we will work towards clearing this uh, at the earliest, sir.